Hey, it's Dry Bear. We're continuing our series of covering every weapon in Wild Hearts, and today we'll be talking about the Karakuri Katana. We'll go through all the basic mechanics and some advanced combinations that you can use to master this weapon and everything in between. If you found value in this video, leave a like down below. It helps me out tremendously. And subscribe for more gaming content. And as always, if you have any questions or comments for me, you'll find me live every day on twitch.tv forward slash Dry Bear. Come by and say hi. All right, let's talk the Karakuri Katana. It is the starter weapon of the game. It's the game the tutorial will give you and let you use for the most part. But it actually has some really nice depth to it and it has a lot of really good burst potential. It has some fast movements, fast punishments, and some slower attacks that you can utilize and are super satisfying when you line them up properly. As a quick reminder, if you ever want to learn a weapon, you can walk up to any one of these training bears and activate the training process which if you turn on attack tutorials, it'll teach you the weapon. It'll go through all the basic combos and usages. There is a bear inside of Minato in the main city in the bottom right. There's also one in the Harugasi, Harugasumi Way, which is the springtime, the first zone you engage. And then of course you can use your dragon Karakuri to spawn a bear wherever there's a safe location. You can spawn it on any map and test things out that way. Now let's talk the Karakuri Katana. There is a lot of combo potential. And you do have to be wary because there are some combos that have long windups and major animation breaks in between that can get you killed if you're not paying attention. A good example of this is if you use your attack two or your triangle combination, you activate and then you bring it in here. There's a long animation windup there that if you're caught in that, when, you know, <laughs> a, a big kimono is coming with a big attack, you can get killed or knocked back. So just be aware that you do have to kind of pay attention to where you are in the combos do you know how best to punish the target? So let's talk about the basic usage of this weapon. The first weapon attack is going to be weapon one. I'm going to talk about this in the, the, the perspective of PS4 or PlayStation buttons. Um, but if you're wondering, you can translate this into Xbox or into PC if you'd like. Uh, the, the, we'll use attack one, which is your light attack, heavy attack, and then your special. All of those work off of those three buttons. For PlayStation, uh, the Square is attack one. For Xbox, it'll be X. For PS, or for PS, it's triangle for attack two, which is your heavy attack. And for Xbox, it's Y. And then it'll be RT or R2 on uh, PlayStation versus Xbox for that. So your light attack combo, your square combo is pretty straightforward. You just have a whole bunch of spammable attacks that will deal pretty decent damage to the target. Uh, it is not as scalable as the other attacks. It's not really going to be your bread and butter because you can do so much more damage than this. Uh, but it does give you kind of a nice opportunity to scale up, fill your meter, or do a little bit of poke damage. Or sometimes when you want to hit a specific part on the kimono, you're trying to break something, you have an opportunity where like, you know, a big kimono is laying on their back and you can see a point that you really want to break. You might just want to spam some light attacks to get into it. But that is there if you, if you want to use it. You also have your heavy attack combo, which is your triangle combo. When you activate it, you'll release, have a second follow up, pull this, and then you can actually spam it at the end for a whole bunch of swings. And when you stop the combo, you'll finish with an attack that does a pretty wide arc. So this one's pretty flexible. Unlike the light attack, which is just kind of spamming, it's a five hit chain, you'll do some damage that way. The heavy attack chain is very flexible. You can wait, pause, activate the second hit, hold, hit once, don't spam it and finish the combo. Or if you get the opportunity, you can attack. This follow up is actually pretty strong. And then you can just kind of spam your attack too and do tons and tons of damage and end with the swipe. You also have your special attack, which is your R2 or RT. When you activate it normally, it's a dash attack that'll hit three times. It does pretty decent damage and it's nice for clearing the gap as well. Um, so you can actually use that to kind of engage in the target clear the distance and get some shots after that. And you can actually combo off of it as well. You don't have a crazy amount of aerial attacks like most other weapons. So when you jump in the air, you just have your downward slash. This works for heavy attack or light attack. Uh, regardless, you will have that. And you don't have a special in the air at all. So you're going to be most of the time spending your time sliding around the, on the ground like a skateboard, just zooming and zooming finding opportunities and moving around. Now let's talk about some combos here before we get into the special meter and the transformation of this weapon. So the most useful and most viable combo that's kind of like, especially if you're just learning the katana, is going to be going off of your light attack into a heavy attack, and then you can follow up with your swipe. This is probably one of the safest things you can do in this game with the katana 
because when you're following up any combo with a special, if you do a, a heavy attack into a special, so you go heavy attack into a special, you'll do this double swing that takes you pretty far away and does pretty respectable damage per hit. So you do a heavy attack, special, swipe, and you can go straight into it again. So you just do, it's a two hit combo, you go right into your heavy attack, your triangle, hit your special or hit your R2 or RT, and you'll do this attack. And it will get you around the monster. You can avoid attacks. And so you kind of learn, uh, I would recommend learning from this as your first combo. Uh, it's very safe, very flexible, gets you lots of mobility. From there, you have some really nice combinations off the light attacks. So if this is your combo off the heavy, so if you go off any heavy attack and use your special, you'll do this dash. The opposite of that is a very awesome stand in place multi-hit combo. So you can do a light attack into this, and you can actually spam special, and you'll do tons of these double fang slashes. You can even finish off with a special on that combo as well. So light attack into all your special hits, and then if you keep spamming it, you'll go straight into that follow-up, which is really nice, uh, but that's kind of like your bread and butter. So I'd recommend if you're starting out, go for your heavy attack special. When you get the opportunity or you're worried about getting hit, you're just learning the monster, but when you feel like you can punish, light attack into your special there. The next modification that we'll talk about is the passive meter. If you didn't guess already, Karakuri are these little deployables that are very flexible, they transform, and they do all kinds of things. So the two weapons in the game, the staff and the katana, that are named Karakuri, they're named this way because they can also transform using the same technology. So the meter in the bottom left above my health bar is my meter for the weapon itself. When that meter is above zero, I can then use Unleashed Katana, which you'll do by holding the right trigger and then doing any attack, either light attack or heavy attack. And now you can see that my weapon is glowing and it has, it's got these separated links. And anytime I do attack, it turns into a whip blade, which increases its range dramatically. It will kind of have the same moveset as before. It just does bunches more damage with lots of other opportunities for follow-ups. You can do some crazy bonus damage while you're in this transformed state. The meter in the bottom left is the duration you can keep this active. So you can turn it on, use your slash here with the unbound, and then uh, turn it off if you'd like using the same keybinds. Uh, so turn that back into a normal sword, or when the meter runs out, it'll transform back into a normal katana. So the basic gameplay for katana is to use your combos to try and build up as much meter as you can, and then find the right moments on the target where you can actually punish them a bunch with the transformed version of your katana. Get that damage in there, rotate through, and then get into the, the unbound state. Note that if you ever to fully deplete the meter, you'll have to fill it up all the way again before you can transform again. You can turn it off to save meter if you'd like. So you have that going for you. Now let's talk about the Karakuri combinations that you have. They're actually pretty flexible when it comes to the katana. So you'll actually be able to activate this as a plunge attack, whether you are using your heavy attack or light attack. And it's pretty straightforward. You'll be able to do some plunging damage on the target and get some really flexible damage when you land as well. Keep in mind, this works for all weapons, but the height of the tower that you have will change the damage of the attack and the severity of it as well. So you get more damage the higher up you climb. The springboard attack is very straightforward. It's a nice real way to engage and clear the distance if you're not gonna be on the ground and using. Dash forward and you'll do this little flip double hit attack and it gets you into range for attacking as well. And again, like you're kind of just standing your ground. You have a lot of flexibility for combos. You have a decent mobility because you kind of get back into this loose state faster than some other heavier weapons. You can kind of get in and out of this as much as you want. And of course, if you ever have to, you can go into the heavy attack into special combo to get some serious distance. This one, this move here, the, the heavy into special, actually starts out being really annoying because you end up getting you get put in spots where you don't expect to and before you get used to it it can be pretty frustrating because you'll end up across the map but as you get more and more used to it you'll be able to use it to reposition yourself you have danger coming you can kind of go in go for a combo go hit some extra shots there make sure you go into the heavy attack then dis distance out with the special you can go for a dash you can jump over and go for like a down slash, or you can move out, pop up a springboard, dash forward, move out, get on top and go down. Uh, it's not a super complicated weapon. The hard part is really just managing the combos. Because again, like I said, especially if you're using like the heavy attack combo, slow attack, slow attack. There's a lot of waiting with follow-up combos. So finding the right moment to be in the right spot to punish the target without getting punished yourself. So 
when you master it, it's super fun. You have a lot of flexibility in the in the weapon itself and ends up being super punishing as well. I mean, if you can actually get the target down on the ground with a punish, activate your special, go in for a shot here, and you can just get some serious bonus damage out of this, especially if you land on a weak point too, or if you have any elemental damage, this just shreds targets while you have this staff up. And if you manage your meter properly, so you have the most out of it that you can, you get some crazy bonus. You can even just go into the twin fang combo here, get some bonus out of that. But that's the katana. I mean, it's not, uh, you know, there's not like a lot of really special finesse or complication to it. It's really just comes down to being in the right position and having your combos enter the right state at the right time. And if you can do that, you can do tons of damage. So that's the katana. I hope this was helpful with you for you. If it was, leave a comment down below, leave a like down below. And as always, if you have any questions or comments for me, you're welcome to come by my stream. I'm live every day on twitch.tv forward slash drybear. Come by and say hi. If you enjoyed yourself today, leave a like down below. You can support me and my work on Patreon and view Patreon exclusive content. Link in the description. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one.